Number 23. A 5 times 10 to the 5 kilogram rocket is accelerating straight up. Its engines produce 1.25 times 10 to the 7 newtons of thrust, and air resistance is 4.5 times 10 to the 6 newtons. What is the rocket's acceleration? Explicitly show how you follow steps. Okay. So, as in all these problems, first thing to do is to try to create a free body diagram that depicts all of the forces in the problem. All right. So first thing, a couple things are fairly straightforward, right? They tell us that the engines produce 1.25 times 10 to the 7 newtons of thrust. So if you're thinking about, right, a, a little spaceship here, right, that looks like the Voyager 7. If you're thinking about what direction the thrust points in, it would point up, right, because it has to apply a force up or in the positive y direction to get it off of the Earth. So I'm gonna draw one of those vectors right here. So this is the thrust, I'll call it T. Sometimes T represents tension, but in this problem it'll be thrust. So 1.250 times 10 to the seven Newtons. Great. Now it also tells us that we have this air resistance, right? We got air resistance of 4.5 times 10 to the sixth. What direction does that point? If you're unsure, think about does it impede the motion or does it enhance the motion it's going to impede the motion correct air resistance slows you down it's a force that opposes motion so therefore if i have motion going up that air resistance then if it opposes it must be going down so that's great so let's call this the force of air resistance okay that's going to be 4.50 times 10 to the 6 newtons now it almost seems like we have everything we need, right? So we can just go about and calculate it. But there's one thing that's missing, okay? And this is what you really want to remember. When you're doing uh, accelerations in the y direction and forces in the y direction, please do not forget the weight of the object itself. That is another force. So if you don't, if you forget about that, you're going to be wrong, all right? So uh, in addition, because you think of it this way, right? The, the thrust that the engines produce from the rocket not only have to overcome any air resistance that it experiences, it also has to overcome its own weight, right? So by me not putting the weight in here, it would definitely be incorrect. So I have to put another vector pointing down because that's the way right gravity pulls. And this vector here, I'll call the weight, all right? That's W is equal to mg. So we need to know, know the mass of the rocket. Well, fortunately, they gave that to us, right? So I'm just going to do the calculation over here. Weight is equal to 5.00 times 10 to the 5 multiplied by 9.80. So we got weight is equal to, so let's do 5 times 10 to the 5 times 9.8. So we get 4.9. 4.9 times 10 to the, should be 6. Let me just double check. So we got... Yes, and I made a, I made a calculation mistake here, but it should be. Let me just double check. Sorry, guys. Yes, to the six. Great, and that is in uh, newtons again. All right. So that is the value over here. So we can write W is four point nine times ten to the six. Okay. Now this picture is complete. All right. So now we have to uh, select our formula. So we're talking about y direction. So let's choose the sum of the forces in the y. All right, so the sum of the forces in the y direction is equal to the mass times the acceleration in the y. So what are the forces in the problem? Positive tension, negative force of air resistance, and negative weight, right? Because they are, these two are pointing down, so they're negative. Is equal to the mass of the object that's being accelerated times the, that acceleration itself. So the, so the T is uh, thrust, right? I might have said tension before. I meant to say thrust if I did. I don't remember. But in any case, uh, T will represent thrust in this problem. So 1.250 times 10 to the 7 minus 4.50 times 10 to the 6 minus 4.9 times 10 to the 10 to the 6 equals, oh boy, 5.00 times 10 to the 5 and then finally times A sub Y. So we got one equation with one unknown, let's solve it, okay? So 1.25 times 10 to the seven, 
uh, minus 4 point, oh, minus 4.5 times 10 to the 6, minus 4.9 times 10 to the 6, and we get a value of 3.1 times 10 to the, looks like 6, right? Let me just make sure, 3, yes, great. And that will now equal 5.00 times 10 to the 5 times the acceleration. So divide out now the 5.00 times 10 to the 5 from both sides. Divide by 5.000 times 10 to the 5. So we get the acceleration in the y direction. So divide this by 5 times 10 to the 5. So 6.2. So we get an acceleration of 6.2 meters per second squared. That would be the acceleration of the spaceship. Okay. If you forgot to include the weight of the rocket, it would have been significantly higher. So which would have been incorrect. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. I hope this helped a lot. Please remember to subscribe. That would mean the world to me. And I thank you very much. Talk to you soon.